welcome to Williams College Taskmaster, the unofficial, unaffiliated, and underproduced ripoff of the popular British TV series. My name is Malia Hagino, and I am the Taskmaster. I have set a series of tasks for a group of competitors to complete. I will judge their efforts and award points, and no one will disagree with me. Let's meet our competitors. Women like him, and that makes him sad. It's Isaac Wilkins. Hey. <laughs> she might be hot, but her dad is hotter. It's Izzy Levy. <laughs> Our shortest contestant, and therefore the one closest to hell, it's Lucy Walker. <laughs> He's Jewish. It's Noah Cohen Greenberg. And she's our oldest contestant. Why don't you have friends your own age? It's <laughs> Hallie Bula Volpe. And last and most certainly least, it's the Taskmaster's assistant and my emotional support animal, Owen Foster. Thanks, Malia. Are you gonna say say something? Um, sure. Well, uh, I was I was really excited when I heard that Williams was moving all classes to pass quail because I can identify over a hundred different bird sounds. I'm sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't listening to you. That sounded incredibly boring. Let's get started. All right, so each episode begins with a photo task where each of our competitors brings in a photo of theirs that they have uh, saved on their camera roll or they have taken for this specific occasion. Uh, this week, uh, the Taskmaster has asked you to bring in your most extravagant photo. Let's see Lucy first. Here is Lucy's photo. <laughs> so this is my photo <laughs> um it's me and i'm hanging out with my good friends um elton john ed sheeran um lady gaga and elon musk are elton john and ed sheeran cuddling they it it sure does appear that way <laughs> all right let's see hallie now So I am in my prom dress. Um, there is a tiny bottle of champagne betwixt my breasts. Uh, I'm also surrounded by some other champagne. Ooh. Can we count the cash? Because it looks like two $100 bills and a bunch of ones. Yeah. Um, it's actually not. But thank you for pointing out that I don't have that much money. Uh, let's, see. let's see Noah now. Noah, are you in your prom dress too? Oh, baby, am I in my prom dress? I wear, I'm wearing the exact same thing I wore for prom. <laughs> now, this is tough. <laughs> because... I need a minute. Okay. I need a minute. <laughs> I'll say what we're all thinking. That's hot. Like, it's actually <laughs> a bit of a problem for me. I do appreciate that you filled the bath with something. Um, but it isn't money. So that's Bubble a bath. little... The statement you're making is that you have soap. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I feel like we should see Izzy now. Um, this is a photo I took in the Palace of Versailles in Paris with Alec a couple summers ago. It is, ex it's certainly extravagant. Versailles is extravagant. Um, I will say that this is a very similar picture to Lucy's, except for Lucy had a lot of celebrities in hers. So on that front, it's a little less extravagant as there just aren't any people in it at all. Mine's um, also authentic, though. What, I don't so understand what you mean by authentic. Mine's also real. <laughs> is real. If it was real, then why weren't you sitting on Elton John's lap? Riddle me that, Lucy. I don't want to get in the middle of that. That's their special. Why not? <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to get in the middle of something more. <laughs> Izzy, strong effort. I appreciate it. You're not in the photo. Neither is Elon Musk. I have to take that into consideration. Understandable. And I feel like now we should see a little Isaac. <laughs> so this is a picture of me at um, Proton Cancer Research Center, um, right in front of a, <laughs> a proton therapy machine, which can cost upwards of $200 million. So Bing defies extravagant as exceeding the limits of reason or necessity or spending much more than necessary. It is very necessary and a very good tool. It is expensive. 
So it's necessarily expensive. Isaac, who's this other guy? That's my friend Tyler. Doing some Would you describe Tyler as essential or non-essential? If it doesn't get me last place, non-essential. Certainly. Malia, do you have some scores for us? Oh, I do. All right, uh, in last place we have Noah. Um, here's the thing. The cherries, neither expensive nor necessary. Um, after that, it is Isaac, not on the bottom for the first time in his life. Um, then we have Izzy. Um, that is a picture of Versailles, which is notoriously extravagant. Second, we have Hallie. You did more than you needed to, which is extravagance to me. And in first place, we have Lucy, clearly the winner. Look at all those famous people she's friends with. I mean, like, you can't argue with science. All right, it is time for our first task proper of the series. Uh, and I thought we should start it off on a high note. Make the tallest thing out of the smallest things. <laughs> you have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. What are some, what's small? Leaves are small. Paper is, is paper small or is it just thin? As a small person, I would expect you to know better what things are small. And Isaac, as a tall person, you should be good at making tall things. Oh, just you wait. <laughs> so I've separated our competitors um, by gender, um, not because I'm sexist, uh, but because I think it's worth watching Noah and Isaac together. Uh, please note that they had the exact same amount of time. The question is what's more impressive, a very tall thing with medium-sized things or a not tall thing with small things? Or is there a way around it? The tallest, what does tallest mean? Tallest lengthwise, <laughs> hell yeah. Second thought, that seems like cheating. Definitely tall means vertical height. So Legos would be really good. Okay, so the plan is now to go with the smallest things possible, little tiny ice cubicle cube things and then make a relatively tall thing in here, but they're going to be super small. It's like a very boring choice I made. This is filled with uh, a lot of tiny, really small ice. Do a comparison of if this holds. You should do a comparison of me, not fuck me. I'm just gonna make a tower of cream. Okay, I have like a minute left. This is my final. God. Isaac, buddy. <laughs> Come on. How much time was spent on the ice? The majority of the video was spent on the ice. <laughs> um, <laughs> about 13 minutes. I thought if I got them like small enough icicles. Isaac, I believe the word you were looking for is ice chips. You also tried to call them ice cubicles. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is also, it's tough because a lot of this is about perspective. Um, because Noah's not that tall, his thing just looked way taller. And because you're so tall that you just weren't in frame for most of it, your thing looked sad yeah. and little. It should be noted that mine was actually taller than Isaac. Mine was taller than Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> No, oh, Lucy, that's not awesome. <laughs> I feel bad and want to take that back immediately. <laughs> There's a clear front runner, but let's let's watch some women try and do some stuff. I don't know really what I want to do. I guess I shouldn't have done this first thing in the morning. These are sitting here, and I want to see if I can stack them. I can think of no. Why can I think of nothing small? Lucy could just put like anything on her head, and she could like be done. Raisins. 
I don't know. Ew. Oh my god. <laughs> this is maybe not a good plan. Okay. Ouch. The height of this stack right now is one and a half inches. Hopefully this will get taller than that. Can I stack tea bags? Not here to play anymore. Okay, I'm stacking spice jars now. That's where we're at. And I do not feel good about any of my decisions. You know, if this falls soon, I just want to thank it for hitting two inches and giving me oh, all the joy in the world. So just a quick look around my kitchen. This is my final structure. Tea bag attempt, raisin attempt, um, and then this. I just have to hope that somewhere out there in some part of the world, one of the other five are failing more than I. You know what's small? Look at them. I can't see. I'm not talking to you. I honestly think you just set feminism back. Like, <laughs> that was tough for women. Yeah, that was, that was not, not a good look. I've never seen anything that I hated more than watching you squish raisins in your hands. In my mind, I was like, they're sticky and they'll just, <laughs> just mold them into a tube with my hands and I'll squeeze them into a tube and then I can just like smush it and it'll, and it, they're not that, and it was also the camera was really close. So it was just, it was unfortunate. <laughs> Izzy, I don't think that was a stack. <laughs> so yes, the task was to create the tallest thing. Um, Izzy held her two corgis um, next to corgis. each court. Izzy held her two Yorkies uh, on, on top of each other. Um, I, certainly not a thing. Not a thing. It is a thing. What do you mean? It's two things. Well, if, if it's a thing, you are part of it. Because if we were to take you away, your Yorkies would, would not be standing there still. It's Unless also still by far the biggest thing used to create the larger thing. It is, by any standard, small. So for a reference point, um, Hallie's uh, r small rubber bands were uh, 0.03 centimeters tall. Um, your uh, Yorkies were about 1.5 feet <laughs> tall, long. Do we have a final measurement on Lucy's? Uh, yes, I have a bunch of final measurements. Noah's was uh, 7 feet 1.5 inches tall. Isaac was 10 inches tall. Hallie was 2 inches tall. Um, Izzy was um, uh, 3 feet tall. Lucy was 30.5 inches tall. Last place, Izzy. Not a thing. Also, maybe animal abuse. Following Izzy, we're going to have Isaac, who is under Hallie because Hallie's things were so small. So even though your thing was taller than Hallie's thing, your things weren't that small. And I'm the taskmaster and what I say goes. Following that, we have Hallie. Not an impressive thing, not an impressive oh. stack, but very small. Um, in second place, we have Lucy. It took you a second, but you got there. Pretty tall thing, not the smallest thing, but the height makes up for it. And last, we have Noah, who just, Pretty much just crushed it. And like, just to just, you, you mean first, not last? Yeah, I do mean first. Okay, good. Uh, Owen, could we get a score update, please? Absolutely. Uh, Owen, I'm bored. Can you show um, me something exciting? All right, it's time for our second um, film's task of the day. Now, if this task were to be uh, graded on a pass quail system, it would certainly get a quail. Catch a bird. You have 45 seconds. Your time starts now? What do you mean, catch a bird? 
I don't, I can't really speak for, for the rest of you, but I think, you know, I know what bird means. I know what catch means. Okay. I just, I don't know. I feel like there's many different ways to do this. Um, yeah. I have high hopes for the one of us who has chickens. Yeah, let's, uh, let's start with um, the person that lives on a farm. You caught a bird. I think you got it. Um, Hallie, to answer your question, that is what catching a bird means. Did he do it within 45 seconds? He absolutely did, Malia. All right. Time to spare. Well, we got a strong head start. Um, so that is what a successful attempt looked like. Uh, we are now going to move um, to the other end of the spectrum and watch um, Izzy and Hallie try to catch a bird. Is that a bird? I'll catch it. Catch a bird, you guys! <laughs> don't, don't let the idiot out. No, let's go. He needs to help me. <laughs> Alright, catch one. Go ahead, catch. <laughs> catch it. What was that? <laughs> Catch a bird. Well, I tried my best. Hallie, what did you catch? Like a cat toy. So it's like attached to a pole and you do like this and the cat does like this. And my sister did the this part and I did the this part. And I caught a bird in my hand. It wasn't a chicken, but it was all I had. Right. Yeah, and um, Izzy, what did you catch? <laughs> yeah, could you, could you tell me what that is, please? This is so annoying. A dog. Yes, <laughs> correct. Um, you could hear birds all around you. Damn it, Malia, I, that's so annoying. They were too high up in the tree, and I only had 45 seconds. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. The task was very clear. And, yeah. Right. So, so far, we have uh, Noah, who caught a bird, caught a bird. Uh, Hallie, who caught a fake feather, and um, Izzy, who caught a dog. Um, this is, uh, two other people, however, were able to catch bird-like things. So we will now see um, uh, Isaac and Lucy's attempts. I have eight seconds. got this one. Doesn't say it has to be a real bird. I don't know. That was a good point, Lucy. It did not say that it had to be a real bird. So that's, it could be reasonably a representation of a bird. Um, the word dog wasn't in the task, I will say. And just if, if you didn't catch up there, um, Isaac picked up shoes, which were all birds. Um, and uh, all Lucy, birds. And Lucy picked up a picture of a, a, a model of a bird. I'm, I am interested in why none of you went to your refrigerators to see if you had any chicken products. Because I feel like many of you do, unless you're Noah and you have, you know, it fresh and right outside. But nevertheless, a lot of you performed admirably. Some of you, poor Izzy. Um, <laughs> let's see, well, I mean, there's no way around it. Noah caught a bird. Full five points. I have in joint second place, Isaac, Hallie, and Lucy. Oh, okay. <laughs> None of those things were birds, but they did. <laughs> either look like birds or had the word bird in it. In last place, with one point, we have Izzy, whom, that dog is so cute. It is not a bird. We have one last task of the day, the live final task, but before then we will do another brief score update. <laughs> now 
Now it is time for the final live task of the show. I will text the task to one of our competitors. They will read it out loud and then they shall compete. Izzy, will you please read us the task? Owen will give you a word. You must get the taskmaster to say that word. The taskmaster will then get to guess which word you were trying to get her to say. If she guesses correctly, you are out. The last competitor wording gets five points. The first one out gets one point. I don't get this. You are going to get Malia to say a series of words. In that okay. series must be the word that I give you. If she guesses your word correctly, you are out. Okay. I will set a timer. You will have 30 seconds to get Malia to say as many words as possible. We will reduce that time if people don't get out. We will start um, at the top of the list. Uh, we will start um, with Lucy with 13 points. You will go first. I'm going to text you a word. Uh, you must get Malia to say this word and hopefully some other words. Malia, could you um, just sing the 12 Days of Christmas song as much of it as you know? Five golden rings, four of something else, three French <laughs> hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Ten seconds. On a different day. Of <laughs> no, keep going. Time, <laughs> a different time day of is Christmas. Up. Time is up. <laughs> Malia, now guess what word you were supposed to say. Pear? The word was partridge. You did say it. Lucy is still in. Moving down, now we have Hallie with 11 points. Hallie, I will text you your word. Okay. Um, Malia, how many days of the week are there? Seven. Um, and <laughs> what day comes after uh, Tuesday? Wednesday. Um, okay. Ten and seconds. Can you sing the song, um, Yesterday for me? <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> All my problems. Do I have to sing more of it? I feel like Time is going. up. Time is up. Wednesday? <laughs> the word was yesterday. You did say so yesterday. Know, but here's the, the thing. I thought she just panicked by the end and was just spewing shit. Tied with Hallie next, we have Noah. <clears throat> okay, uh, name the things you might have in your fridge. Milk, eggs, cheese. No, chicken. it's like if you have, okay, so like you make a meal and you don't eat all of it. Leftovers. Right, right, right. But then you leave it out before, like it's, um, okay, so if you have like a Tupperware container, Ten right? Seconds. What's on the end? Like the, uh, it might be like coat, kind of coating the lid. If, if you've left it, do you know what I mean? Um, Condensation. Four, three, no, 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 it's like grosser, two, grosser, grosser. Mold. One. Time is up. I feel like maybe it was just leftovers. That was the word. So Noah is out. Noah will be in last place. Uh, one point to Noah. Next, we have Isaac. Isaac, I texted you your word. OK. Malia, name every fish. Clownfish. No. Carp. OK, but like fish that might also be mammals. <laughs> like that you swim with. Okay, so I think the word, I know what word you want me to say. <laughs> say the word! And, like fucking amphibian or frog? Ten or seconds. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> the ones you swim with. The big. Dolphins? No, the other ones. Yeah. Whales? Time oh my God, is no. up. <laughs> I am truly baffled. Take a guess. Dolphins? The word was whales. Isaac is mammals. still in. Dolphins are mammals, yes. Up next, uh, because she's in last place, uh, we have Izzy. Izzy, I am texting you your word. This is like, okay, like, what happens if, like, you have an allergic reaction? Anaphylaxis? No, like, what are the symptoms of it? She like, it's like, really bad. <laughs> Anaphylactic shock stuck in your throat or like you're choking like, all like itchy 10 seconds choking no okay but like if you're like getting itchy and like stuff starts to like close <laughs> up three out, suffocating two, one um the word was choke malia did say choking but that wasn't the word so unfortunately uh -huh. um izzy is also out uh I taking in that. second to last place uh, all right, going back to the top. Now we are circling back to Lucy. Lucy, you now have 25 seconds to get 
the right word. Uh, please, like, just name a bunch of places where you sit. Chairs, couch, the but, ground. But, like, more cushions. More like, cushions. like a couch. Kind of like a couch. Sofa. Yeah, but, like, Ramen. with more, like, like, comfier. Or, like, like with Plush more stuff. things. Bean I, bag. I guess. <laughs> I don't, um. Pillow. Sort Three, of, like, longer. Two, one, time um, is up. Malia, take a guess. Sofa? Yeah. Sofa was the word. Lucy's out, giving her three I tried to keep going, but I didn't know how to. We are now uh, yeah. is back movie? to Isaac. 20 seconds, starting now. Uh, name all of the sea animals. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Name all every subject in school. Science, math, English. More specific. More specific math and science classes. Five seconds. Biology, physics, statistics. Time is up. The word was chemistry. Um, I, two people left. Isaac, you would be out. Hallie, you get your word to take the win. You have 20 seconds. Your time starts now. What's your name? Malia. And what's my name? Hallie. And who's James Bond? 007. But like, um, who else is in this group? Owen. And can Five, you say James Bond? Four. Bond. Three. And can you say- Time uh, is up. Long John. Time is up. Malia, what word did you say that you think, what word did you say that you thought Hallie was trying to get you to say? Was it just Hallie's name? <laughs> The word was bond. Hallie got it in at the 22nd mark, meaning Hallie is the winner of this task and receives five points. Isaac will then get four points. Our final score update uh, is very exciting because we have a tie at the top. So uh, in last place, we have Izzy with seven points. Uh, coming up next, we have two people with 12 points, Noah and Isaac in joint second place. And in joint first place, we have Lucy and Hallie both with 16 points. So it is time for a tiebreaker task. Uh. The winner of this task will receive one point and become the winner of the episode. The task is very simple. I will text it um, to one of you now. The task is hold your breath, longest wins. I have right, a question. Pretty. How do you know if we were cheating? It's a wonderful question. Um, uh, I have no way of adjudicating. Um, so just, uh, just be honest. Are you two ready? All right. Three, two, one, go. Uh, feel free to say things to them, folks. Fuck you. <laughs> Strong right. first thing. Any other comments we have for these people as they hold their breath? Allie. Allie. Your wife is a whore. <laughs> Your wife is a whore. <laughs> Wait, I'm her wife. It's rude. Jesse was her wife. Hey, Lucy, remember when you <laughs> belted up raisins at the beginning of the episode? <laughs> hey, Lucy, remember when you found that stick of wood in the church and then you stole it? You hey, Allie. Whiskey mixers. Ooh, Hallie. Vistas. Whiskey mixers. This is impressive. They're up to 52 seconds. Yeah, yeah I don't believe They're both so no good at I cheating, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Lucy is out. No, Lucy no. is out. Meaning oh, Hallie. Hallie, don't has even pretend. Hallie has held her breath longer, meaning she is the winner of this week's episode with 17 points. Just confirms again, Hallie is the best actress here. Lucy, why- I literally was holding my breath the whole time. <laughs> I've been holding my breath for the past hour and a half. Lucy, why didn't you just cheat for longer? Um, well, because I wasn't, I mean, I was like kind of choking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I, don't, I didn't, like, I don't think I was cheating because I was actually trying for a long time. And then I was like, there's no way to sustainably do this. A thrilling end to the episode. Hallie, uh, you are a winner with 17 points. Lucy, second place with 16. Joint third place, Noah uh, and Isaac, both with 12. And bringing up the rear, we have Izzy with a total of seven points.
a reminder that at the end of the season, the person with the most total points will receive a large, incredibly great prize that has yet to be determined. Uh, and also the winner of the most individual episodes will receive uh, a prize. So Hallie, uh, you are well on your way to both of those prizes. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. <laughs>